Hello, welcome back to VS Live. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a 2D logo into 3D using Blender. So there are many ways to do this. The easiest way, if you have like, if you have already this SVG of the logo, like in this case is like Blender logo, you can simply download the logo or your own logo and import it into Blender. So another way is if you have uh, like the logo itself, but it's not SVG, uh, and then you need to do something about it. Um, if you have SVG, let's uh, let's show it to you. Import SVG and simply grab the Blender logo in this case. Just drag and drop it here. So we have here Blender logo. It comes like this, but it's uh, it's two D. So it's a uh, you need you need to turn this into three D. So we have this bunch of objects making the letter. Um, you can go to geometry and then hold options and extrude it. So this is one. You can also add a bevel option, shift, drag this a little bit. If you want that kind of detail. Same thing with this. You just extrude it. And then add a bit of bevel. And the middle, the middle part with Blender logo, it's uh, that blue color. Thingy. Okay, so that's uh, if you have, you already have the SVG. How about um, if you have just an image like a logo? And that's also pretty easy. If you, for example, uh, remember my the cat logo. Uh, let's see. Remember this cat. So if you drag and drop it. You get this texture but it's not it doesn't have the outline of the cat so in order to do that so let's save this very very quickly this is blender logo we want to put cat next to it so there is an add-on the add-on is called logo tracer okay this add-on you just simply download it uh, you just search for it. Who made this? I think it's super handy. Okay, team. Uh, this one will trace based on the color of the image or just simply use alpha channel because we already, with my case of this cat, is already have alpha channel. You can see it's transparent. So in this case, I just open, drag and drop the cat image turn on alpha channel and preview now we have this cat so this guy I believe cleverly is using boolean so you just simply apply it command A now we have this cat which is also can be a 3D <clears throat> if you just go edit mode hit tab and then extrude it a little bit so you can do that uh, before I extrude actually I want to keep this and I want to show you something if uh, okay this is the cat right we want to have a little bit of extrusion outside you know like a outline around this cat you can use spread chalk for that spread chalk nodes objects in grab this cat offset it uh, offset actually it's offset line I believe so bring in the edge create output this offset offset it slightly so the outline is now created I might need to use the apply matrix like so opening okay now the cat have outline so you get the idea and now you can simply extrude them 
you can delete everything here. No longer need it. So we have this cat logo also. So it, it's not, I mean, you can use any image, not just the cat. Any image with alpha will work. I wonder if I have the Akira logo. Okay, maybe I don't have it. So you can you can download any logo and then just simply bring it in and use the logo tracer. It's really really handy. Um, let's try again. Actually, you can you can still control the threshold. You can also output just the curve, for example. So this is the curve. Where is the curve? So this is the curve from alpha channel. In this offset, extrude. Somehow with this one. Okay, it works. Just this one doesn't have texture yet. You need to add a texture. So this one is still a curve. With a curve, you can actually offset it a little bit. Not too much. With spread chalk one, you can you can offset a little bit more. So it's, that's pretty handy. So once you create this logo, you can simply export it out. Um, in my case, I, I like to do a lot of um, AR stuff. So just file, export. GLD and then convert it into USDZ. In with this Blender logo, actually, I need to convert it to mesh first. So select all the curve object. Save this. Select all this object. F3 convert to mesh. Now this guy is. It's ready to be converted into USDZ for AR or just GLB. So we have the converter, desktop, and the logo is pretty small. It should bring all the text, uh, the material with it. Since the logo is actually just color, oh, actually, actually the color doesn't come with it. It's very interesting. This color must be not the material. I mean, oh, I need to convert it into nodes. That's why. Okay, that's interesting, right? The color is actually coming from this. So you need to copy it, use nodes, paste it here. Same thing with this color. Copy, use notes, paste it here. Save. Uh, this white color also. <clears throat> Copy, use notes, paste it in. Oh, it's already white color. For this cat. Okay, this. this white one. is the lightest. Okay. Let's see. Blue color? Okay. File. We, we have the cat, so file, export, GLB. It should refresh itself. It doesn't always work. Funny. Funny. It's, it doesn't refresh. You need to drag and drop the file again. Now we should have the logo. Alright, so it's 3D. So I think this normal is reverse. Oh well. I think it just let you 
do it or just I just do it on here. Flip the normal. You can check it out whether it's reversed or not. Okay, this cat. I forgot where I get this cat picture. I think it's from Twitter. Twitter has a lot of interesting photos. It's from my online friend from Japan. Okay, it's done. I mean, this can be cleaner, this, this part. But other than that, it's pretty good. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully you find this interesting. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.